welcome to episode 6 of uh, Riverton Bay. In today's episode, we're going to work on an entertainment district, and uh, it will be inspired by Hollywood Boulevard. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what this episode <laughs> is going to be about. Um, but yeah, this is this turned out pretty nice in the end, I think. I'm actually very happy with, with this area. And it's something I've been planning to do since the start of this project. Um, I've sort of had something like this in mind for quite some time. Um, so it was definitely nice uh, getting to do it for this episode. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just felt inspired to, to build this uh, at the time and uh, decided to do it. Um, and yeah, I I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I, I really like the screenshots that I was able to get. And uh, yeah, just a pretty cool area, using a lot of uh, older buildings. Uh, mainly because uh, those are the theater buildings on the, the workshop. Uh, for example, the ones by Darth. Um, I think I'm mostly, or most of the theaters that I'm using for this boulevard here uh, are by Darth. And uh, they look really nice, but they're older style. Um, so that's why this area just turned out to be, I guess, an older uh, area, which which just works fine. Uh, but um, I decided to to have this area closer to the downtown, uh, closer to the most urban parts of the, the city. I just felt like that made more sense uh, than having it in uh, like some other place, closer to maybe suburbs and stuff that I'll, I'll be working on uh, later on the, in the project. Um, you know, if it's an older area, probably should have it closer to more urban parts of the city. Uh, but yeah, I I mean this this might not be the absolute most realistic place for for something like this, um, but it's fine. I I think it works here, and uh, I like the look of it. So I guess that's all that matters. And I'm not trying to do the most realistic city. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean I'm just combining pretty much everything, and uh, yeah, just having a lot of fun building this city. Uh, I I just want this to be more you know more just loose. I want to be able to jump in and build whatever I'm inspired to build and not really have too many restrictions pretty much. Um, and that's why I'm also not really uploading that often anymore. Um, it's not that I'm not enjoying this project. It's just I want to just jump into game when I really feel inspired to do something. And uh, that might not be every single week. Um, so yeah, that's why there are some longer gaps between episodes. Uh, because when I do an episode and when I build, I just want to enjoy it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm what I'm doing currently on my channel. And um, I think it works. Uh, I, I'm enjoying doing it this way. And uh, yeah, for example, this episode, I really enjoyed building this uh, this boulevard here. And I really like the screenshots <laughs> that I'm able to get uh, from this. But yeah, I, I just want to, I don't know, I just want to be able to jump in game uh, whenever I'm inspired. And yeah, if that doesn't mean an episode every week, I'm sort of fine with it. I know that, that a lot of you guys <laughs> want like an episode every single week. And I get that. Um, like, it's nice to be consistent. And I know YouTube favors that a lot. Um, but yeah, at this point, I just want to have fun playing the game and have fun making episodes. So that's all I'm trying to do. And uh, for me, this just works uh, this way. So that's why there's been pretty much four weeks since the last Riverton Bay episode. Uh, I've been just doing other stuff um, uh, outside of YouTube and yeah, just focusing on other, other things uh, pretty much. Uh, but there actually was an uh, or a video uh, between this one and the last uh, the last episode. Uh, there was the global collaboration episode, which I don't know how many of you guys have seen that. Probably a lot of you because that video has a lot of views. Um, but yeah, that that was a pretty cool project uh, put on by Paradox. Um, it was definitely very different uh, to just jump in and build a neighborhood in a place where you are in a city where you have no idea where it's gonna go. Like when you do projects by yourself, you have an idea of where you want the project to go and how you want the end result to look. At least that's what I have. But like in that project, I had no idea <laughs> what the end result was supposed to be. Um, so yeah, I just got in there, built like a contemporary neighborhood, uh, which I felt made sense. And uh, I mean, it was a cool experience. It was definitely different. 
And uh, let me know what you guys thought about that whole project uh, in the comments. I'm pretty interesting to to hear that. I mean, at least from the video, it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed it. So I guess that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you th what you guys thought about that project. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely thought it was cool. And uh, hopefully there will be more stuff like that in the future. Uh, but yeah, I guess back to what I'm doing here uh, on screen. So I'm placing down a lot of trees here. And actually this is a pretty important uh, part of this, um, this uh, build that we're doing today. Uh, like these trees really make a difference for this boulevard here. Like without them, it just looks really boring and plain. And uh, yeah, the trees just really make this look way better. And uh, yeah, the reason or the inspiration for that is Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, they have a lot of trees uh, alongside the road there. Um, so that's where I got the, the idea to just put a bunch of trees alongside the road there. Um, but yeah, I really think that just makes this look way more nice and way more interesting as well. And I'm pretty happy with the tree combination as well. Uh, I think it works. I'm sorry, I've just eaten not too long ago. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the tree combination here. I have some palm trees and some other trees that I do not know the name of. Uh, but yeah, I think it works. I really like it and uh, then I put down this building here which is like a really crappy building that has pretty much fallen apart. It has um, those uh, covered up windows and it has graffiti on it and stuff and I guess that's pretty cool and pretty realistic as well for a Hollywood Boulevard inspired area. Uh, you, you sort of see stuff like that uh, like Hollywood Boulevard is not like a, a super nice place that's for sure. Uh, I have been there. Uh, and yeah, it's not like this super fancy place at all. Um, so yeah, stuff like that makes sense um, if if you're doing something like this. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking a lot of inspiration from there. And I should have probably put a lot more trash around this area. <laughs> uh, if it's supposed to be Hollywood Boulevard inspired. Um, but yeah, so I might have to go in and do that. But um, yeah, and then I'm just putting down a bunch of just billboards here, which is just movie billboards. And yeah, the, the billboards doesn't really make sense. I mean, there's like Pulp Fiction posters and stuff or Pulp Fiction billboards on the theaters. And I'm not sure if they would show Pulp Fiction in theaters <laughs> um, currently. But yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I thought the billboards looked cool and I wanted to add some some pretty nice movies uh, to the theaters and on the walls and stuff. So yeah, I don't really care what the posters are and if they are realistic, I just wanted to make it look cool. Um, but yeah, uh, so then I'm doing this uh, big parking lot behind this awesome theater assets. And I really like the fact that this, this theater comes in two pieces. It has like this big hall in the back here uh, where I guess all these seats and the stage and stuff would be would be in and uh, Then it has the the facade like the front facing towards the streets um, So yeah, I really think that's a pretty cool uh, asset uh, and the fact that it has two pieces, but yeah, I surrounded it by parking lots here Which makes sense uh, in my opinion, especially for an American city. Uh, there would definitely be parking lots around here um, you know, if there's a big show, people would need places to park. Um, so yeah, I decided to put a lot of parking lots around here. And just um, putting down trees alongside the roads here and the parking area, which just makes it look way better. Like, if I wouldn't put trees around there, it would have just looked really boring and way too much concrete. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Alright, so now I'm putting down some more... Uh, buildings here and this is pretty interesting. I don't know why I did this, but I thought it would be cool uh, So I put like movie studios and stuff <laughs> in the back here um, Because this is Hollywood inspired. So I felt like hmm, we should probably have some movie studios and stuff uh, behind here. I'm actually planning to do an actual like movie What are they called like Paramount Pictures? Uh, um, what are they called? Warner Bros. Like those types of areas with with all these studios and stuff um, where like tourists could go. I actually went to the Warner Bros. one 
uh, when I visited. But yeah, I want to do something like that, uh, like a movie studio um, area. Um, but yeah, not not right here, uh, but like probably a little bit more, uh, or pretty close to this area at least. Uh, I'm going to do something like that, because there are some pretty cool assets. And obviously these uh, movie studios, stages and stuff are from that asset pack, but there are more buildings for it. Uh, there's some type of gate and there's some some main building as well for it so i definitely want to do something like that and there's obviously like a water tower and stuff yeah i put down the gate there just to check it out and it's pretty cool uh, definitely pretty cool so i want to do something like that um some movie studio area uh, pretty close to this place here uh, but yeah that will be in a future episode i just decided to put down these movie studios here um, I don't know what they would be used for and I don't know why they would be there, but I thought it was a cool <laughs> little thing to add here. So yeah, and I quite like this um, What is it called chips? I guess this chips uh, Diner or cafe or something whatever it is or restaurant probably uh, I quite like that on the corner there um, Like more assets like that would be really cool um, But yeah, that, that's an awesome asset that I've used in plenty of other cities uh, on my channel. But yeah, um, I've been talking way too much and I guess I'm just rambling at this point. So I'm gonna not let you listen to my voice now for the rest of this episode. So <laughs> yeah, let's put on some music now and I'll tune back in a couple of minutes and pretty much finish up the time lapse. So yeah, enjoy some music and I'll catch you in a couple of minutes.
I was thinking maybe we should have some story for one of the theaters on this boulevard. Uh, I think that could maybe be pretty cool. Um, some sort of backstory on how uh, like one of the theaters uh, maybe ended up here and the story behind it. Uh, I don't know if this episode has gone on too far. Maybe there are not that many people still watching. Uh, I mean, if you're still watching, I do appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, if there's anyone watching that wants to suggest some story for one of the theaters, uh, please do that, because that would be pretty cool uh, to have some backstory for that. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll include it in the next episode, uh, sort of, as we did in the Barrysville project. Um, as I said, I w I'll, I'm trying to bring back um, some like stories and stuff uh, for things in this project as well. Um, but yeah, so uh, what I'm doing here is just putting down more billboards. <laughs> I think the billboards and advertising and stuff really, um, you know, puts a lot of, uh, I don't know, detail into this area. I think it just makes it more interesting. So yeah, that was a pretty important part of this. Uh, but yeah, there, and then we have this uh, more modern area uh, behind it, out towards the the water. And uh, I really like that construction site that I ended up doing there. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, and that just construction building there is just awesome. Like, it just looks so good, <laughs> that building. Uh, but yeah, I really like that construction, uh, construction site right there. And... Uh, and yeah, but uh, what I'm doing here and uh, what I'm starting to do here is putting down some apartments. And these are the Tel Aviv apartments, which I've already used for this project once um, in like the first episode. But yeah, those apartments are really nice and they look like something that would exist in uh, Los Angeles. And um, that's why I decided to put them here. And uh, yeah, like it would be really cool to have more uh, assets like these ones. Um, and I like that they're sort of floating. I mean, they have the, those pillars underneath them. Uh, but yeah, like those sort of floating apartments are pretty cool, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I decided to put some, some of those here in this little awkward spot, uh, which I didn't really know what to do else with. Um, so I thought it was a good idea to actually get some residential buildings in here. And I think it worked out nice. Uh, these people living there would probably have some some interesting views into the movie studios. <laughs> Maybe they could watch some some like show or something be made. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting to have as a view from your window. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was cool and I like those assets a lot. And also just placing a bunch of trees around them uh, because I just felt like this area had way too much concrete. Uh, <laughs> there's just concrete everywhere. Um, which is realistic, but I definitely wanted to have some some vegetation around here. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, how long is this episode? This episode is like 21 minutes. It's actually a little bit longer uh, than what I usually do. Uh, but uh, yeah, I wanted to finish up this area mostly so I could get some nicer cinematics. Uh, <laughs> because sometimes I try to just... Uh, build out the area a little bit more for an episode so I can get some better cinematics showing off more of the the uh, the build without just having open boring green uh, spaces <laughs> so that's why this episode ended up being a little bit longer I'm sure not a lot of you guys mind that uh, but yeah so um, yeah whatever I'm just gonna end <laughs> end it here I don't really have too much to say uh, anymore uh, I'm just placing down more props in these back lots and I'm placing down more decals and stuff. And I guess I don't really need to be talking over that. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. Um, also subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the normal boring stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, enjoy the cinematics now and hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll catch you in, in the next one. Have a great day and bye-bye.